All right, another day in the shop. It's cold. We just got a bit of a snowstorm, which is lame because it's like April and I'm ready for bikini weather. Not for me. Today, we got a pile of stuff I want to do. I got to slot the uh, battery tray, slide it back so it fits with the radiator. Uh, I actually have to take the radiator out because I want to start working on the front dress of this thing. Now, it came with this giant uh, four, you know, four belt pulley. Now, it almost looks like it's two put together. So I want to myth bust that and see if I'm right. Because if I can just take two off, that'll be mint. Uh, otherwise, I got a motor out there. Which has just a single two pulley one. So I can do that and switch them around. That motor also has a water neck I'll be stealing. Um, yeah. Do an oil change, put the filter on, change all the plugs. I'd like to start running all the, on the roof there I have... A set of plug wires get all that together uh yeah over here i did find an alternator in my shed so hopefully it's uh well i don't know hopefully it'll alternate this is the fan that came with it now the that's all gobbed with jb weld in there so i don't know what screw around i'm gonna do to get the pulley because I do need that pulley. I think I have another one somewhere, but I might have used it on the Challenger to be honest with you. So I may need a pulley, might track one down, or worst case, cut that one all apart. Be an ugly job, but I'll get that done. What else? Spark plugs in. Oh, I get yeah, once the batteries in, we can roll the motor over, find top dead center, put the distributor in. All those kind of little things are snowballing, but we're getting there. Uh, I want to jack the rear end up. Measure for a drive shaft. I'll show you how I'm going to do that because my buddy Ryan said you can get a drive shaft done one day this week. We're going to go after hours and film how it's all done. So that'll be kind of cool video. I'm actually excited to see that myself. Hopefully, you guys are as well. And the linkage, uh, I had to weld one little tab on there. I wasn't quite happy. It's got a little bit too much play in it. But then the shifter and all that'll be good. And then wiring, I got to put in all the electronic ignition Chrysler stuff, which is new to me. But it's all together, so I'm sure we'll be able to figure it out. And then, I want this thing to be turnkey ready to go, minus intake and carburetor. So then, when the intake comes, slap it on, carburetor on, fuel line, screw with the linkage, and vroom, gone, right? Because I want to I wanna drive this thing. So, I'll take the rad out, we'll start screwing around with this fan, and we'll see where we end up. So as it turns out, that pulley, wherever I, where did I put it? Oh, it is four all together. It's not just two stabbed together. So we gotta go out now and uh, rob some parts off that motor. Gentle, gentle. Of course, my stupid truck's gonna be in the way. Oh, snow. I'm gonna fire this junker up. Oh, it's already partially unwrapped. That's handy. Use this as a little tool bit. Well, maybe I could sneak in there. We'll see. So this is a 3D3 that caused this whole thing. This is an absolute pile of junk. Oh yeah, I can get in here no problem. So, I'm going to store it nicely outside. If somebody wants a deal on a terrible 3D3, I'll give it to you. Uh, okay, so I'm going to unbag it, steal that, I'll steal the crank pulley, and I'll meet you back in the garage. It's gold out. So that's the old one. Sure looks like two put together. That's all one piece, but it looks fit. Oh, oh. Whoa. Uh, anyways, there's the new one. Brand used. I'm uh, just going to let it warm up a little bit and water neck, paint those up. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to oblong these holes to scoot the battery tray over as much as I can. I have my holes marked, well, self-tappered, for where the rad's gonna go. So I'm gonna see if I have just some like quarter inch or 5 16 bolts, and I'll bolt it in properly. Then we can start uh, kind of monkeying around down there. Everything fit now, I'm happy with it. Unfortunately, this is the only fan I have, which is kind of lame. 
but uh, whatever, it'll do for now until I find a, a big one. I do have an electric fan, but I really want to run mechanical stuff on this thing. I want it to just be dead nuts reliable. I'm not going for every last horsepower. I want uh, reliability. So that fan can go on and it's four bolts down the road at any time to change. Uh, yeah, I think it's pretty good. I'll bring it back uh, when I got kind of some more stuff done. Turns out, I guess all you Chrysler guys know this bolt didn't actually have to come out, but it came out and I have a spare. All right. Well, see you when it's all together. All right, well, I wouldn't say we're jamming, but I am figuring stuff out like crazy. So the radiator has got some proper bolts in it now, so that's locked into place. It's not touching anything. I'm happy with it. Uh, we got the battery tree slotted and pushed back. We got this little brace back in, and look at it. Not touching the rad. Mint. We got water neck on. I painted it black because the orange just takes too long to cover and dry. We got the new lower pulley on, so we're good on that. What else did I do? Oh, yeah. Uh, so, the alternator, we're going to try and put that on. I have the bracket somewhere. I painted it. Anyways, I found this water pump pulley, which is quite a bit bigger in diameter. So, I guess that'll make the water pump spin a little bit slower than this one. But, check this out. This pulley here, you see how far away it is from the water pump body? Obviously, <coughs> that pulley needs the four row gentle, uh, four row lower crank pulley because this one look how far back it goes right so if I ever had if I had the bottom pulley the other one it would want to be on like the third or fourth rib so it would never work so I got that now which is slick unfortunately I don't have the studs so I'll probably just bolt it in I'm going to take that fan I'll bolt that in, I'm going to dump oil in it, I'm going to change the spark plugs, whatever else I have I'm going to do, so we're going to do that lapse real quick, and then once I get that dialed, we'll jack the rear end up and screw around with the drive shaft, make another list of things I don't know what I need, and we'll just keep going. The night's getting a little late, but I want to, uh, I don't feel like I'm done yet. We had some ups and downs. Managed to get the front dress on, and uh, the fan and the, and the crank are good. Unfortunately, this alternator setup, for whatever reason, is a little far back. So we're about, I don't know, half half a pulley or, or whatever backwards, which isn't the end of the world. It just means I need to put. Uh, some spacers or something like that to go this way and a bigger spacer at the back which isn't in the world I don't have a long, well, I either have a long bolt or a too short bolt for the little uh, the tensioner piece <clears throat> which isn't in the world I actually think I have a different one of these now that I think about it so I'll have to look in the shed tomorrow but it's it's well past 11 o'clock um, I was gonna do the spark plugs I thought I crossed these auto light numbers and uh, it came up with one of these, but it's clearly wrong. Awesome. I'm the bonehead. So, I got a spare set of spark plugs. 44T. Huh, 
what these are. Yeah, I got them confused with something else. Those are almost like uh, big block Chevy for the 55. I know I have spare plugs for that, so maybe I've misplaced the plugs. But uh, yeah, I feel defeated. It's cold out. It's cold in here. We got some done, but the oil change taken care of. Um, I'm gonna slow the battery on the charger so we can slap that in tomorrow. Wire it. Let's see if this thing will vroom vroom or or whir whir I should say. Uh, tomorrow with the starter and the wiring and all that we have. And yeah, I gotta clean up in here. I painted all the bolts for the valve covers so I can get those uh, bolted in. We got the distributor hold down painted. So slowly but surely, all these little tedious things. Uh, you know, we're not in a rush. Well, I'm not in a huge rush. I want to do it properly. I don't want it to be, uh, I want something dead nuts reliable. I think that's what we're accomplishing. So that's it for me tonight. Tomorrow I'll be back out. We'll clean up. Then we'll measure the drive shaft, get a few things, uh, run some fuel line. You know, we're, we're getting there. Day by day. See you tomorrow. Well, it's tomorrow. So I picked up a few things. Got some miscellaneous rad hoses. I think I'll be able to make something work there. So that's good. Uh, I picked up spark oh, spark plugs and I checked they're the right one so that's mint uh my bolts shall be painted I can bolt down the valve covers and I'm just gonna run a couple of uh heater hoses over there in this area uh I did I put some washers on the alternator I don't have the bottom bracket I'll have to modify that a little bit uh I need to get a belt I don't know if I have one just to kind of hold it and see if it's kind of straight when I eyeball it looks okay <clears throat> but it's all about the way you're uh I kind of looks at it, so it'd be good enough. I used to start it and see what's going on, kind of figure out what I'm uh, what I'm doing. But uh, yeah, overall, so we got that going on. I picked up some uh, five sixteenths lines. So I'm gonna try and run the transmission lines. This is all I got off the other ones, so let's use the the ends, reflare them, do whatever I gotta do. I'm just gonna run it right off the radiator. It has this is a this is a big rad, and ultimately I think it'll be just fine and I think that's kind of it up top other than we got a once I'm underneath I'll hook a starter up we'll make sure it kind of rolls over does a few things we'll set the timing you know a few little things like that but really not much else to do I'll measure for the drive shaft and we'll call her a day and then uh, hopefully tomorrow fingers crossed the intake manifold shows up if it doesn't I'm a little bit hosed because that was kind of my plan and same with exhaust I'm waiting on those I'm up to the mail at this point and but if everything else is kind of done we can put the headlights in a few little things like that i think the seats are almost done and go pick those up finish up the interior and i picked up oh i picked up a windshield gentle buddy picked up windshield so it's sitting in there it wasn't too bad it was 150 bucks watch me break it as i try and show it to you brand new so i gotta figure out how this kind of comes apart i didn't order the rubber piece because the rubber piece that it's set in was more money than the glass, believe it or not. So it looks in good shape. My only fear is that it's gonna be hard. Cause it feels hard. <laughs> so I guess we'll see. If I end up buying that, so be it. I'm sure I'll break that window then do it all properly. But that's the plan. We'll set the laps and we'll uh, jam this thing together. Maybe dump some coolant in it, make sure it doesn't leak.
Okay, so we got it all kind of dialed together. The uh, cooling system's together. I filled up. Nothing poured on the ground here. Um, I'm a little nervous about the heater core, but we'll see what happens. I filled it up. We'll see if it starts leaking or not. I kind of could barely see it when I had all the crap part there when I was inside. It looked... It wasn't green the whole way through. Valve covers are mounted down. I'm missing two bolts somehow. I put the spark plugs in that I could. Uh, I'm going to probably tighten them all from underneath. Uh, I start cleaning up everything off the fenders. Jack the rear end up so we can get under this thing. And I want to start bending up these transmission lines. Like I said, just tighten up the spark plugs. Do a few little things like that, but really, motor's in. I set the carburetor on just so it, so it makes me feel better. Because I'm trying to will that intake to show up tomorrow. But, Danny made beef dips for dinner. Actually, and I, it's like 9 o'clock. I, I put it off for like 2 hours. So I'm going to go pile my face back and then uh, hopefully come out and work till like midnight. We'll see how it goes. Alright, I had a nice little supper break. Um, as you can see, we're going to, we're going to roll the motor over. Um, I don't know if you can see or not, but down there, right there, I got ran metal transmission lines, which is a, a fair bit of screwing around, I'm not going to lie. I'll show you a few things underneath the car, and then we'll measure for a drive shaft real quick. And, uh, yeah. So, I bent some lines up. I like running metal lines front to back. I don't know, that's just my deal. Speedometer cables all hooked up. This is the, I believe it's neutral safety wiring, so that's not hooked up yet. Uh, I did a little screw around with the linkage. Walled a little bit there, it's all good, and you can see, obviously, up there, the starter's all attached, battery lines are in. Uh, the exhaust, I cleared everything around the exhaust, so we should be okay. Again, we're going to modify that. Now, here's what we're going to do for... Man, are these lights handy? For measuring for the drive shaft. Now... This one here, you can see there's that little focus. There's a little line right there, wear mark, so we're going to go ahead and put it right around there. Ish. So we want it so it can still go in and out. Now this, these yokes are ginormous. I, I, don't, I don't know what the purpose is. And they're threaded a long ways in. So anyways, we'll put it about where we're going to be. Now, the car is on the suspension so it'd be it's at ride height but obviously jacked up so that's where this thing should be sitting with uh the vehicle loaded so it's like a neutral position obviously if you hit a bump and the rear end drops down it'll want to suck the drive shaft out you hit a bump and it pushes the rear end up you don't want to push the yoke in the transmission so you want kind of three quarters of a toe of an inch out now at the back i took one cap off or strap whatever you want to call it which is kind of roughly in the center so what we're going to do is we're going to put the end of the tape measure right there we're going to measure it to the center oh, that's in park of where the drive shaft would be let me spin this a little bit if i can reach oh god this is real professional filming we got going on here uh no, no, I can't. It's in park. So anyways, we're going to go to the center of the... Oh, this is smashed. Look at that. Good thing I got another one. So we're going to go to the center, to the center, and that's a, the measurement we're going to uh, give the drive shaft guy. It's a little difficult to do one-handed, so you may have to just take my word on it because uh, this is going to take forever. Uh, maybe we'll get some and bring it back. Uh, unfortunately, it's a two-hand job, so I actually have it on the back of the yoke, so it's given the wrong measurement, but you gotta pretend it's on the front. You measure it right to the center. I'll give you your measurement now. When I did measure it, it was 51 3 quarter, center to center. So that's the measurement we're gonna give my buddy Ryan. And I'll drop off one of these yokes. Ugh. Yeah, someone commented on my perfectly blue eyes in the last video, and it kind of creeped me out, but thank you at the same time. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go center center. I will bring an old drive shaft just so he has some stuff to go off. I don't know if we're going to use all brand new stuff or not, but uh, either way, we'll have a drive shaft this thing when we've got some free time. Now let's get uh, up top and we'll uh, have this thing roll over. An unseized motor in this thing for the first time in like 40 years. All right, we'll see you up top. All right, we're up top. Um, as I was up here, I noticed I didn't put a couple of spark plugs in or tighten any of the other ones. It might crank over a little weird. But uh, what are you going to do? So, I've got the battery in here, which is also uncharged. So, 
story of my life. Uh, I used the jumper uh, cable as a bit of a clamp because that wire doesn't have a terminal on it. We just grounded the uh, ground side of the battery to the bolt, I think the exhaust bolt, something like that on the motor. This one is live, which we're going to use to trigger uh, this cutoff wire right there, which it's cut off at that little solenoid. And that is the trigger for the starter. So it's got power to the starter, just not to the trigger. And there's one wire hanging down somewhere, which has to go directly to the battery, which would power up the fuse block. So really, we're two wires away from this thing kind of being proper, but we're going to do that tomorrow on a new video. All we're going to do right now is hot wire it, because it also needs neutral safety and all that stuff that wasn't hooked up underneath. And it's midnight, I'm tired, lazy, and I'm just not doing it. But... This thing's going to have a motor that, a free turning motor for the first time since like 76 or whenever it blew up. Oh, my bad. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, that's a good feeling. Let's disconnect some of these things. But yeah. No, this thing's ready to rock. A few more things on the list to get. Man, I have said 18 times, fingers crossed that manifold shows up because uh, if it does, this thing should be a runner. I gotta put the distributor in, all those kind of little things, but really minor, minor stuff at this point. Uh, it's full of coolant. I got some transmission on the truck so we can top up the transmission. Linkage all works. Uh, all we gotta do is screw on with throttle linkage, which is, could be a little difficult, but hopefully this new intake manifold make it easy. Definitely whatever we got going on here with the holly to this miscellaneous cast manifold to the existing thing in the car is three different things, which is not going to go well. But yeah, and anyway, what I got to try and find a belt. I'll do a little measuring with that, put a string on it or something like that. And yeah, I'm probably missing 18 things, but we'll carry out that tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. As always, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'm loving this thing. Having a motor in this thing, it's such a sign of relief. I got that uh, drive shaft going. So yeah, if I get that uh, intake, what else do I wait on? Oh, exhaust. It'd be nice to have some exhaust. I'm really, we can run this thing open exhaust. I know it's a good running motor. I'm not overly concerned about it. I probably should put a few gauges on it so I know I have oil pressure and temperature, but nah, I'm sure it's fine. All right, leave a comment below and I will see you guys, well, tomorrow for me, next video for you.